This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today we are checking out more of Maltigo's interface, how to add your own links and selection options. So today we're going to start with the bars up at the top. So you'll see several different ones, beginning with the Investigate tab over here, and then you see Manage, Organize, Machines, and Collaboration. So we're just gonna stick with Investigation, Investigate, and Manage today. So this tab gives you a whole bunch of pretty clear options they're very, very obvious. First is pasting your nodes, and those, again, are the separate nodes over on the side that you can drag and drop into your graph. You can also do things such as copying and cutting nodes, you can clear nodes, and you also have the cut option to cut, copy, and delete as well. Now, when copying and pasting, you get options like allowing Maltigo to keep the original and skip or merge them. So, if I click uh, copy, so I wanna copy paterva.com, so I'll click on copy and then go down to paste and choose paste. You get a bunch of options in here to either keep the original, you can skip an entity, you can keep both entities or merge the entities, and you have a bunch of options as well down there. So I'm gonna just say keep both entities and then it'll make a separate copy for me. Now you can also copy nodes to a new graph as well by right clicking on your node. So if I just wanted to copy this one to a new graph, I can choose copy to new graph and I can copy with or without links and with or without neighbors. So links are the arrows that you see checking one paterva.com down to all of the different uh, transforms that I had created. Neighbors are going to be anything around it, anything in basically in the graphical interface of the uh, first node that I chose. So I'm gonna say copy with links. I'm not gonna see any links because I haven't made any, and then I can go back to my original graph. So now you'll see up here, I have two graphs. Bam, super, super easy. Now you can also copy with neighbors, as I said before. This means that you can copy all parts of a graph that are neighbor in the node that you choose, and these would be connected with the original node with a whole bunch of different arrows all sorts of places. Now you can also copy to a notepad with the right click option as well. And the next item in the investigate tab gives you the option to show only 12 results or you can show all of the results. So say you have a really, really big graph with hundreds and hundreds of different transforms that you've created. If I wanted to, I could go down here to number of results and I can increase this all the way up to 10K, 10,000. 200, that number right there is 50, or 12. Since I don't have over 12 right now, it's not highlighted, so I can't choose anything over 12 transforms. So, next thing is the quick find. This is going to let you search your graph for a specific word or a certain node. Great, great choice uh, to use the quick find if you have a very large graph. And next up, we have entity selection. So entities are the actual nodes on your graph. If you click on entity, it goes to link selection. Link selection are the arrows, so I can click on all these different links. Pretty cool, right? So I'll go back to entity selection. Under this, this lets you choose either to use Maltigo in link selection mode or the entity selection mode. The other options allow you to select multiple nodes as once. You can add similar si siblings. Siblings are going to be neighboring links on the same general node. And then you can also do things such as select parents, which are going to be the main node that you ran a transform off of originally. And of course, if we move over just a little bit more, we find a whole bunch of options to zoom. Of course, zoom is self-explanatory, so that doesn't take very much to understand, obviously. You can also choose to add your own links between two nodes by left-clicking on one and then holding it till you reach a target. So say I want to connect uh, alpine.paterva.com and paterva.com. So I can click on this. Choosing up here, you're gonna choose link selection and then left-clicking on a node and holding that down until you reach the node that you specifically want to link. So if I move this over, you'll see two different arrows, or you'll see one different arrow connecting the two nodes. And from there, I can create a label for this one, so I'll call it my link. I can change the color, I can change 
a label to global settings, either yes or no. I can also change the style, the thickness, and the description of this. When I hit that, it'll turn red and it'll show my title next to it. So you can tell that it's very, very easy to edit all those different properties. This can be very handy if you need to create a report in Maltigo to show like a general populace or maybe your boss or something similar to that. I'll be right back with a little bit more of the interface tutorial right after the break. The Hack Shop is Hack 5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites. I've told you about it before, but I'm going to tell you again, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive and it types like a keyboard. So it can type scripts into a computer crazy fast, like this week's favorite from Mary Div. It's a script that creates an association for Windows 7 to connect to the Wi-Fi Pineapple. That's pretty cool. And of course, we couldn't do the show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special. Use the coupon code SNUBS with any order for your very own sign hack tip stickers and thank you again so so much for supporting the show we are back with more maltigo and more on links so you can also change the properties of a link i mentioned before you can right click woohoo so cool but you also have a nice little window in the bottom right hand corner that you can change different things in too so if i choose my link right here and i just labeled it my link you can go down here to the corner and you can also change different things down here. So I can call it Hack5, yay! And then hit enter and it automatically changes on my graph as well. So pretty easy way to also change your links. Now you can't edit the links that are generated by Maltigo, at least I haven't been able to so far in my testing. And you can highlight only one path taken from one node to another via the investigate tab as well. So that's pretty cool. So for example, if I wanted to, I could highlight, let's say I can say, select all so it selects all the different paths i could say select none select parents so if i choose right let's see uh, let's choose this one there we go so a lot of these are not highlighted right now because i don't have a lot of options what i can do is i can bookmark one so I could hit the little star right there so I could bookmark it. I can also select by type. So I can choose ones that are DNS named or I could choose the ones that are only do domain names or I could choose MX records. Pretty cool. And of course, you're gonna have a lot more different options under type if you have a lot more different nodes on your graph. Now, under the Manage tab, I know that I mentioned that. I'm just gonna run through it really, really quick. Under the Manage tab, you can choose to show your custom link labels or not. So that would be located right here. So I can choose to uncheck that or I can check it. I can show my transform links or not. If you end up showing all these links, obviously your graph is going to get pretty cluttered pretty fast. So only show the ones that you really need for whatever you happen to be working on. And there's some other pretty obvious directories and information under manage. Uh, if I want to, I can choose local transform wizard. So this is going to enter details for a new transform. I can also do manage transforms and discover new transforms, pretty cool. And I can do things under here for entities. And over on the right side, we have showing notes. So if I wanna create notes, I can show them there show additional labels, and document information. All of this is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go into crazy, crazy details about them all, but next week I'll show you a little bit more about the interface, but huh, I think I've talked about way too much this week, so let's go ahead and end it now. Let me know what you think about Maltigo and what your favorite commands in it or different transforms that you've had a lot of fun with. Uh, tell me what you've discovered with Maltigo, how you have actually used it in real life. So send me a comment below or you can email us tips at hack5.org. Be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. Whew, I'm tired from that week at DEF CON, so I'll be over there reminding you to trust your technolist. <laughs> Thank you.